y'all. Thanks for tuning in. <laughs> so if you want to know how I achieved this super cute wash and go on my 4C TWA, just stay tuned. So I'm starting out fresh out the shower. Uh, I do keep a plastic cap on my head to preserve the water and the heat from the shower. This is a technique that normally I would do in the shower because it does involve a lot, a lot of water. It is a wash and go. Water is always going to be the most important step. So throughout this process, you will see me spraying my hair constantly. It's going to be soaking wet. That is the whole goal. That's what's really going to help it pop. I'm prepping with one of my favorite leave-in conditioners. This leave-in conditioner is awesome because unlike any other leave-in, it's not really cream-based. It is honey. Honey is the main ingredient. So it's not going to leave any kind of uh, clumps or product residue buildup. Even though it dries clear, this is a great product for if you're going to step out the house right after, you know, and you don't want uh, that those bits of clumpy gel mixed in with like the creamy products in your hair. This is a fabulous leave-in. This leave-in also gives a bit of a curl, so it's a really great base to prep the hair first. Next up, I am prepping before the gel with Luster's S Curl Curl and Wave Gel Activator. This is a product that you might have seen before. It kind of went viral a few months ago over on YouTube with the natural hair community. This is a really great prep for underneath your gel. The product, as you may or may not know, is not meant to replace gel. Um, I think that's also why it's spelled with a J of it. Uh, in terms of like, does it really make a big difference? I It does make a difference in that it's slightly, um, it's supposed to get rid of the shrinkage factor. So it does slightly elongate, I would say, your curl pattern uh, compared to not using it, like just using gel on its own. But because my hair is so short, I don't see a huge, like a very significant difference. But I am showing this just in case you would like to also try. So I do want to show you guys the difference on longer hair. This is my mom. She does have the same type 4C texture that I have, especially in the back. On the left, we have the gel on its own. And then on the right, we have the gel plus the, S, the Luster's S curl underneath it. And you can clearly see a huge length difference. These pieces were exactly the same when I first started out. And for reference, this is what her curl pattern looks like with only water with no product added in. Now you might have seen this product featured uh, a couple times on my channel. This is my favorite, favorite edge brush. It is from a company called Baby Chess. They are women of color owned. It's such a great tool. Um, all the products, of course, that are used will be linked below in the description box. So I'm using this tool just to brush out some of my edges so I can separate them from the hair that we're about to start styling. Now we are adding gel. Of course, you can use any kind of hard gel. Um, I'm only using Eco because that's what I have in the house. Once I finish this, I don't plan on repurchasing or supporting the brand just because I don't uh, agree with their ethics and the way that they conduct business. So if you want to, you know, also not support the brand, then that's fine. If you do continue to support the brand, that's fine as well. Just letting you know you can use any gel for this process. We're going to be working in very small sections over the entire head of hair. You're going to take that small piece and coat it very thoroughly with that gel. And then once you find it's thoroughly coated, you're going to take your index and your middle finger and curl it like a curling wand. And that is pretty much the technique. We do it all over my entire hair. Um, and you can go in different directions as well so that all the curls are not just going to the back necessarily and looking very uniform. And doing this in different directions really helps to avoid uh, harsh lines in your hair like rows so we don't want that so you can do um, forward backwards different diagonals and of course continually wetting the hair the whole time that's really going to help to also activate this gel as well as the Luster's S curl product that we had used before 
and the leave-in and our natural curl pattern so water is our best friend it's called a wash and go you need water for a wash and go so i will let you sit back and watch as i do this over my whole head <laughs> but a little bit faster coming from the east side over to the west side gotta find down by my side say you can get this side if you choose this life it'll be one smooth ride coming from the east side over to the west side gotta find down by my side say you can get this side if you choose this life it'll be one smooth ride For my mama, when I finally make it Take on my vacations to Bahamas Always celebrating Ever since my birthday was the bomb And now I'm detonating No, you can't relate You just can't relate Every day I wake up like a boss And I be thanking Jesus Fake is trying to get up in my circle I don't really need him We be saying we up next forever Now we really mean it We about that action Acting bad shit when you see us Yeah I'm passionate I work hard so when it pop it ain't on accident Yeah, I'm always on go, better watch how I go Don't forget to let you know I be ballin' I would drop it out, buy a house in New Orleans Up the hit the I'm sure I'm all important When you grab me, I be ballin' like I'm Jordan Why you hit the snoring? I be busy scoring. I would drop it out, buy a house in New Orleans Up the hit the I'm sure I'm all important when a Grammy, I'll be ballin' like I'm Jordan Why you hit the snow, man? I'll be busy ballin', 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 ballin' Yeah, I'll be busy ballin', ballin', ballin' Ooh, ballin', I'll be yeah. I'll be cashin' checks like it ain't shit Loose leaf in it When we go out, always in the VIP Hope could be lit Runnin' my money up Watch it up off in the sky I ain't pickin' up that's the style is on the line You know I ain't got the time I be busy on the move People wonder how I made it hit They see me paying dues I was living check to check Now I'm whipping something new Better pay me my respect I ain't never gonna lose I be ballin' I would drop it out Buy a house in New Orleans Up the hit and I'm sure I'm all important When you grab me I be ballin' like I'm Jordan Why you hit the snoring? I be busy scoring. I would drop it up by house in New Orleans Up the empty on I'm sure I'm all important When a Grammy, I'll be ballin' like I'm Jordan My old head is snowin' I'll be busy ballin', 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 ballin' Yeah, I'll be busy ballin', ballin', ballin' Ooh, I'll be busy ballin', ballin' So for this step, I totally forgot to use my favorite oil. Y'all already know, if you don't know, it's Melanin Hair Care. I use it in pretty much every single video. So first, I am going over with this Jamaican Black Castor Oil Water Spray from As I Am. Just give my hair a little bit of sheen and a little bit of oil since I totally forgot that step. Now I am testing out a brand new edge control, new to me, not new to everyone else. This is the Sweetie Collab with Kiss. This is the Edge Fixer Glued Max Hold. I have it in the scent Cherry Blossom. It's pretty nice. It actually reminds me of uh, Bath and Body Works, the Japanese Cherry Blossom shower gel anyway so i'm first starting off by brushing out my edges and i like to apply my edge control onto dry hair so it has been a little bit of time since you know um i was doing my hair i did my makeup and uh yeah so we're keeping the edges very respectful today very simple no nothing crazy no like designs today 
Um, if you'd like to know my opinion on this edge control in comparison to Style Factor, I think that it's really up to personal preference. They both definitely work for kinky hair, which is awesome. It's always great to have multiple options on the market. So, you know, we're not just putting all of our eggs in one basket, especially if a company turns around and is acting crazy. And yeah, you just you want to have different options. So for this edge control, I think if you are someone that likes to get things done quickly and you know what you want and you like to keep it simple and quick and you don't want your edges to move, uh, do everything in five minutes, be out the door, I think this is a great option for you um, because it dries so fast. It's kind of unreal uh, but once it dries it does stay in place pretty well and it's not going anywhere if you are someone that likes to take your time and do baby hairs and i mean designs you know and fancy edges and all that then i would probably suggest going with style factor because it does take a little bit longer to dry and you really are able to move it around and play with it for as long as you want but i would definitely recommend either product i think it's just like i said totally up to personal preference as far as flaking goes, I don't think it's anything that's out of the ordinary. Like I can tell sometimes when I manipulate the edge control in a certain way, I know when it's going to flake. So I think it's really um, dependent on how the user is using the products, you know, but I don't, the in my uh, experience, the edge control has not just randomly flaked on me. I can usually tell if it's going to and when it's not. So. I think it's a pretty good edge control. I would definitely recommend giving it a go. And lastly, y'all already know I had to sneak it in just a little bit because I really missed that crucial step. This is my favorite oil. Like I mentioned before, I do feature it in pretty much every single video. And I do like to use it directly after my leave-in. And then also if I have a cream, I use it after my cream. So I use it twice in a row. But definitely after the leave-in is the optimal step. This is where I would have uh, used it in this video except I totally forgot so I definitely recommend oiling your hair after the leave-in before you apply the uh, Lusters S curl wave and gel activator if you are choosing to use that product and yeah y'all these are the finished results I was so happy with how it turned out I am finna do my wash and go like this every single time because the results are just so cute. It's very professional, but you can also like jazz it up, you know, if you want to step out once this pandemic is over, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> but this is like work appropriate and then it's it's just appropriate for all occasions. TWA for the win, 4C hair for the win. <laughs> Okay, so this is the finished look. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. I truly do appreciate it. It means so much to me. And thank you so much for 200 subscribers. I love interacting with y'all in the comments. It really makes my day and makes my heart so happy to see so much love on this page. So thank you for sticking with me on this journey and plenty more to come. Until then, I will see you in the next one. Bye, guys.